hey guys welcome back to my channel and today we're doing a little i would call her my tiefling but unfortunately i did the horns wrong <laughs> but that kind of does happen sometimes i was just messing around and then i was bit deciding where i wanted to go with this illustration but before we get into the how I came up with her and everything, I would like to tell you guys that I am happy to be announcing that I am going to be opening a Patreon very soon. I'm getting all the details in. I'm currently deciding on my tier names and gonna start the illustration soon. So hopefully by the end of this month, or by the beginning of next month, I will be opening my Patreon for you guys. So if you guys would like to support me in any way, you guys can will be able to support me on Patreon as well. And hopefully we'll get a bit ahead and then new things will pop up because I have a lot of exciting things I would like to do, especially for all of you guys who watch me and i thank you once again for being here with me so here's why so getting into this here is the reason why i say i really wanted to do a tiefling because i'm a really big dungeons and dragons fan and if you guys don't know i'm a really big critical role fan as well <laughs> um and they have their animation out on um, Amazon Prime and I simply love it because I'm a diehard critter because I've been watching it since the beginning so thanks to my brother so shout out to him <laughs> and I've actually dove into the critical role and the Dungeons and Dragons and everything and I I already really liked Dungeons and Dragons before I found out who Critical Role was and then after Critical Role like my love for D&D just exploded and I was into this moment where I didn't know if I wanted to draw star signs or if I wanted to draw D&D characters but a little bit modern and I ended up deciding that I wanted to draw the D D&D character a little bit modern and it, she was supposed to be like a little tiefling and then after I did everything I realized that I did her horns wrong <laughs> but I just left it as that and I'm just like you know what she's like this young tiefling and her horns haven't grown out yet so that that is her story and that's what i'm keeping to it and i am pretty happy with that so yeah <laughs> um i did change the background color especially because her skin tone is a bit desaturated and the white was kind of bothering me a bit um i decided to use a mixture of warm colors well i think i did use a lot of warm colors and then i only used um the yellow which is a bit of a cooler color um i ended up using i changed the position i am the eyes were supposed to be green and i decided to change that so later on in the video you guys will see me changing her arm bracelet color from her eye color and it was actually pretty good. I also changed up her hair because um, I think her hair was would would have clashed with the eye color change that I did, and I wasn't really liking this green. And I don't even know this green color that I put, like this greenish, dark greenish blue color that I put. I didn't really like it that much, so I ended up changing it and i made it a little bit like i changed it into a warm color as well and it actually looked better after i changed it so i was actually pretty excited about that so one of the reasons um i chose this color like to draw this and everything was mostly because i'm actually pretty 
excited not only about my patreon but also the fact i got so excited about the fact that my drawings have progressed in such a way um that the comparison that i posted on my instagram was like extremely far out for the fact that um i was a bit down because i thought my art wasn't improving and i didn't really see improvements and everything and then i was like you know what just get one of your drawings and then do a redraw of one of your older drawings and i got one of my favorite older drawings and which i did when i used to stream on twitch like in 2019 and i was so blown away when i put the one next to the other that i could literally see how far i've come in these years and i was literally freaking out for nothing so mostly what i would like to tell you guys is trust the process it is a very weird and complicated thing to listen to someone say trust this process especially because i i am an artist and I know how much we judge ourselves and how much we judge our artwork. It doesn't really depend if you're doing it as an artistic thing for as a job or if you're just doing it as a hobby. You do end up judging yourself because you see all these artists doing such amazing work and you're always like, oh, I'm never going to get to this point or my art needs to be like this. But just take it one step at a time. Yeah, you don't need to rush things, just let things progress naturally as you would in everyday life and slowly you end up realizing how far you have come in all of your goals, especially in your art goals and I've realized that I've actually have been doing that and I'm actually pretty I wouldn't say I'm proud of myself but I'm I feel pretty accomplished that I'm going in the right direction and I feel happy and I'm actually okay with how my art is progressing and how everything is turning out so I'm actually pretty excited to see what comes next in my art journey and i guess that's why most of you guys shouldn't be shouldn't feel bad or feel down about your art journey you're just gonna get there in time and practicing i mean i i'm not gonna lie to you i don't sketch every day um sometimes there are days that i have like a million sketch ideas and i'll just sketch all of them out and then the next day i don't really feel like sketching a lot so i don't i'll do something else i'll start um drawing one of the sketches and turning it into a finished piece so like even just doing that just means you're practicing every day sometimes your sketch won't turn out a hundred percent the way you expected it to come out when you want to do your finished piece but that's also just part of the process you can always restart i've restarted so many drawings that way that i didn't really like um i didn't like how i drew the eyes or how the anatomy was and i simply discarded it and i just started all over again so it's okay for you to erase everything and just start over again and just know that you're not going to be starting off from a place of lack you are going to be starting off with a bit of knowledge on where you went wrong and 
where you need to fix some of your art and where you, and what you have to do to make things a little bit better for yourselves so yeah don't be afraid to try new things don't be afraid to start over it's okay don't get so overwhelmed or frustrated with yourselves because i know that i normally do get a bit frustrated sometimes especially when my art doesn't go well but then i just take a step back i'll go watch a movie or go watch a, a vlog I've, I've been so into vlogs lately and they're so calming so i really like that that i can do something calming and then after i start watching something that makes me calm i just immediately okay let's go do this finish this this is going to look awesome and that's how you should take it you know it's a process your art will gradually get better there are things that i need to work on myself to get um better but that's for from my perspective of um, my artwork and you have your perspectives of where you want to get better as well so just go working on the things that you want to see improvement like slowly if it's lighting if it's anatomy don't dive into it like a hundred percent crazy one day because sometimes you're not going to maintain that just do it gradually and you will see that you're going to start changing so many things if you do it a little by little every single day you're just going to see improvement and yeah improvement is the one thing that you should strive for perfection let's be honest perfection does not exist <laughs> it's just something that we place in our heads and sometimes it's unrealistic and we sometimes never achieve that so instead of striving for, for, for perfection strive for a simple and improvement just simple improvement will make your life such a wonderful thing to be. So I'm going to leave you guys now with the rest of this speed drawing. I hope you guys enjoyed your time. I hope you guys learned a little bit something from here and don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel and thank you everyone for being part of this amazing journey with me and i will see you guys possibly friday for our live stream and also next week for more videos so thank you guys bye